Um, and that's why now uh, I apologize on YouTube because I, I'm going to really give sources and answers to members who are on, on Let's Go Help 2 now. Um, so this is what I do. So I want you to eavesdrop. You could learn when they ask me a question. I hope that the general public can learn how this, there are sources. Now, you just don't get the links directly from us. You'll have to do a little research yourself to get it. Uh, and I have a free service, too, that helped you. It's called Let's Go Free Help. So you can go to letsgofreehelp.com. And a lot of what I have is there. So people don't have $20. I understand that. And, and, and you could uh, learn there. I mean, the mission of my life is, is to try to educate as many people as I possibly can uh, to learn about the government programs that, that everybody has access to in this government. But unfortunately, the rich use the hell out of it. And the rest of us have no idea. Nikki, how are you? Nikki, uh, and oh, this, you guys are getting, I, I need help getting school repayments. I don't know what a repayment is. Do you owe them or <laughs> you want to pay them twice? <laughs> Maybe that's it. But if it's a college loan uh, and you want to know, you go to studentaid.gov and call up and talk to the ombudsman there. Uh, about what your options are. Don't go to the internet. Don't re respond to somebody who emails you. Uh, don't respond to somebody who texts you. Um, don't re respond to, to somebody who says they're me <laughs> and they're going to charge you money. Uh, th there's just too much of that that's going on on the internet. It's terrible. Uh, I don't know how to do it. The, the big guys who have the platforms, Facebook and, um, and YouTube, you know, they don't do anything. They say they do, and maybe it's superficial, but it, it's an arms game. The, the, <laughs> the scammers are a lot smarter, and, and they'll figure out how to get in there and wiggle in. I mean, they get they wiggle in into our Facebook closed Facebook group supposedly, and they say they're me. They use my logos and all this kind of stuff. It's it, it just disastrous, and uh, uh, I don't know what to do about it except educate people. Educate, educate. Uh, yes, I owe. Okay, if you own student, okay, that's where you start. A and look at that studentaid.gov and look at the payment options. They have payment options where you could pay a dollar a month for the next 20 years, which is what? couple hundred dollars and get the rest forgiven. So there's a lot of options still out there, even though the Biden thing didn't go through yet. So ex explore them, but not with anybody who contacts you on the internet, because all they have a motive to is sell you something, because uh, uh, Google charges them money. <laughs> and so they got to pay Google to find you. So once they find you, they have to get money from you. And all the legit programs are, are from the government. You know, uh, they're the only one who, who are going to forgive or whatever. And, and even the big uh, banking people don't know about these. So go to the government first. If you have problems with that, then uh, call your elected official. You don't want to go to Google and look for help. It's just too easy to get trapped in. These people are so good. Uh, they're better than I am at marketing or getting your money. <laughs> I ever be. That's why I, I don't want to have any guilt of uh, overcharging anybody or uh, take advantage of anybody. And, and that's why I just charge $20. I'll give you the money back, $20. If, if you have any concern at all, you think we weren't fair or something, I, I'm happy to do that. Um, uh, I, I don't want to be, I used, people said I'd never make money doing this I've, unless I charge $500 and all this kind of stuff. Because other people make a lot of money. Those people will charge out outrageous fees. <laughs> and I don't want to be that guy. I want to be the $20 guy who everybody, there you are, Nikki. Uh, again, I need help to apply for business grants. Okay, Nikki. Now, here's Here's where to start for business grants. First of all, Nikki, the best thing to do is don't ask for a grant, okay? This is, I know a grant will solve your problem or whatever, uh, but there are other ways to solve it, and the grant's a little complicated, so you have to learn the system first a little bit before you say, uh, hey, give me a grant. No, because then, actually, that, that uh, uh, 
what happens is people don't want to help you because you sound greedy. You don't want to really help. You just want money. You know? And money may or may not help you or may or may not help you now or later. So uh, just be patient and first listen and get a, a sense of what is out there in the community and what's available. Uh, okay, here is the link to... Uh, help with starting a business, okay? And and there there are really dozens and dozens and dozens of grant sources and everything. But don't use any of the grant stuff yet. Don't even ask for a grant. Go in the beginning of that report and talk to, find all the organizations that uh, help you for free in starting or expanding a business. Uh, where is this grant able to be found? It's my that's good information. Uh, Charlie, uh, I'm not sure which grant you mean. Uh, uh, Charlie, what grant do you mean to be found? Is that for a uh, student loan that I talked about or for business? As for business, look in the bottom. I just put how, how to do that. And again, uh, Charlie, don't ask for a grant. Just say you, you need help starting a business. Asking for a grant is like asking for somebody in a date and ask them for sex in the same sentence. <laughs> sure, maybe you want to go there, <laughs> but it's not a way to get help. Oh, apply for the thousand. Go into the beginning, Charlie, uh, and in the beginning of the platform here, uh, in the front page, there's a link there for applying for a grant. The deadline is April 4th. April 4th at midnight Eastern Standard Time it is when we're pulling the plug, and then you have to apply for the new one. Hello, it's Deborah. Oh, my beautiful hair, Deborah. How could I do that, Deborah? That's what I want. I need to confirm I'm going to the right direction. I just need help for inventory. Yes, I think I gave you a lot of sources. Yeah, that's the same thing, Deborah. Same thing I'm, I'm just talking to um, uh, Charlie and the fellow above about, or is it a fellow? Yeah, Charlie, uh, uh, about business. You want to get to these mentors, you know, that help you with the whole thing, because there may be other ways to do this. No, you, you say, hey, I want to do this. What do you suggest? The, 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 you're, you're getting to the finish line and, and, and you haven't got a sense of, uh, uh, of the game yet. So start getting a sense of the game by making appointments with these free. Uh, I'm a girl. Oh, good. Do you enjoy being a girl? That's an old song, <laughs> probably from the 50s or something, given my age. <laughs> uh, and this, so you understand the thing about <laughs> asking to go to bed on your, you know, uh, when you meet them at the door. Uh, so that's it. You want to ask these people who get, they may have grants, they may not, but they're going to know a lot more than you'll ever know about starting a business. You want to get their counseling and help first before you start looking for money. Uh, because you'll just, you think money will solve every problems and it, it, it's just an easy trap that we all get into. Uh, and this is a much better way to start. Uh, thanks so much for explaining. Oh, uh, no, it, 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 it's hard out there, Nikki. I know it, it, it's, we have needs, we have wants, we have desires. We're, we're, we're struggling in life like everybody else. And unfortunately, that uh, in a capitalist society <laughs> that wants your money, they play on that. You know, and, and so they, they want to hit your hot button with your needs. And that's not your real need at this time. So, I mean, sure, that may or may not be. already have a business. Yes, Deborah. Uh, Okay, <laughs> I must try harder. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, I just did a little video, if you see it on YouTube. But uh, We have another grant we give out. We give out 20 free computers every month now. And, and But you must try to get one free, okay, first. And, and one of the members, Let's Go Up To, you could see it on Let's Go Help Too. Uh, she called 211 and called another group that they remarketed and they couldn't get a, a computer. And so she, she just kept calling, kept calling and kept calling and finally got one. And today she wrote to us and said, hey, I got a free computer so I don't have to apply for yours. See, this is the thing about our free computer. We want to teach you how to call people and ask for help because that's the best way to get any kind of help. I understood Chris definitely affected by FICO score. Well, some things are, yes, I mean, if, sure, a lot of things are, are affected by a FICO score, whatever that is, uh, but 
you have to do get around it. And that's why if, if, if you're looking for a loan or whatever, they say you can't get it, fine. Well, then you, you, you investigate and, and search for alternatives uh, to get that done without having that. You know, and that's, I've started every business I have. Well, I know the two businesses uh, failed. I, I, I borrowed or got money for the last of the businesses. I don't use any money for There's just too many other ways to do things in life to have some bureaucrat tell you that, uh, this is a roadblock. You're, you're not allowed to do this if you don't have a score of 673. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm going through classes on this site. Good, Charlie. Uh, and Pamela, I need money for home repairs, a senior. Okay, Pamela, the first thing you want to do as a senior for home repair is, is call uh, your area office on aging. Okay. Uh, and there, if you put in your county and then area office on aging, you'll get the number and call them. There are programs there, but if they say there's no programs, that's okay. Just, well, thank you. Can you, and then say, Hey, can you suggest someone else that could help me or somebody else? Cause there, there's dozens and dozens of programs. Yeah. So you can't just say one. It's sort of like, uh, our friend who was looking for the free computer called two on one. They said, no, called another organization. We don't give it anymore. So no, you, you, you don't go home and say, there's nothing in the world. No, it's like asking only the cheerleaders for a date for the prom. <laughs> sure. They're all going to say no, because <laughs> you're not the star football player. Right. <laughs> but a lot of people won't go to the prom. <laughs> so there's a lot of other ways to do that. So let me give you a, a report too, that will also help you. This is what we call, or at least I call, uh, the Meta Grants Report, okay? And uh, if you see this link, download this report. This is my cheat sheet for an answering questions, okay? Uh, so my 50 years, or actually it's 48 years uh, of answering questions. Item number 13, how do you like that? Okay, item number 13. I had a tornado in middle of Indiana, yeah, any disaster. Well, yes, I'm sure they will be. And, and you want to know how? You call your elected official right away, okay? Uh, Lou Bertha, is that it? Uh, call your elected official. How do you find them? You go to, because I'm sure they're keeping up on it. You go to commoncause.org, okay? commoncause.org. And uh, call your elected official. And if the one elected official, you know, you have like 12 elected officials, call the next one if they don't have any, if they don't return your call, call the next one you don't. It, it, it is nothing beats perseverance, you know, and, and it's you're going to have roadblocks after roadblocks after roadblocks. It may be easy. Maybe the first call you do will get you the grant and everything you need. Uh, but hello, sir. Is it hard to get a good business grant in New York? Well, I, I <laughs> that's, it's possible. There's lots of grants, but it's a complicated system. You have to start learning. If you want to start a business, if you want to start a business easily, if you want to get money easily, that may happen. Your odds aren't very great. Most likely you're going to have to put some work into it. And I don't know how much it depends. So it, that's why you want to make sure you want to do this. And, or you want to make sure you have an easier way. If you have an easier way, you have an uncle you can get a hundred grand from to do what the hell you want. Then yeah, that's going to be easier than the government. <laughs> you, you want to go marry a billionaire woman or something like that? Yes. Then that'll be, I don't uh, I don't know if that's easier than the government. <laughs> Hard to get a good business grant in New York. Uh, uh, well, now, Irvin, the, I just can't uh, uh, say enough how you don't look for a grant if you're starting a business. You look for help to see what kind of help is out there. You have to, in other words, like you want to go to war with somebody. You just don't, okay, I'm just going to bomb the hell out of them. No, you got to go out and see the landscape and, and find out what's the best way to do this. And you have to go out and see the landscape by doing your 
due diligence. You know, you have to be a scout. You have to go out and scout the 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 landscape and scout where the where the people are and scout all this stuff. So you have to do your scouting first on all the possibilities. And even one set of uh, feedback you get isn't the ultimate represents all the feedback you get. That's why what I suggest you go to this uh, contact uh, uh, contact uh, the free uh, free uh, free <laughs> business mentors the free business mentors listed in the beginning Okay, and here's okay. I'm gonna put the print. Okay, I did that. Okay, now here comes the report. This is one of our reports just for starting a business. And there's you want to follow up on the grants, but don't follow up on all the grants yet. You go in the beginning of this report and start making appointments with maybe three, four, five uh, free business mentors. You know. Here, okay, before you start asking for money. Okay, uh, maybe the cars help, help Miami. Uh, I've been getting a lot of emails from my state representatives, but the links are for surveys. Well, yeah, I don't know <laughs> what they're doing. Maybe they're just voting or something, but also send me some information for housing assistance, Section 8, Miami. This may help our Miami members. Oh, good. I'll, I'll put that in, uh, 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 you know, the Florida section so people could see that there. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's what it is. I mean, if you want somebody to do all the work for you and everything like that, I mean, then somebody will do it and they won't do it as well no matter how many thousands and thousands of dollars they do uh and you don't have that money to do it so just start learning this system so you know how to survive in, in this world forever because once you learn this system and use this don't forget this is the same uh system you could use for almost anything you know and that's the key that you have a, you're gonna have more than just this one problem uh Uh, uh, that's the M five M P I P E R. Uh, so that's why you want to make sure that you learn how to use it. Are there funds available for people waiting to obtain social dis, uh, security? Yes, there are funds for everybody. Now, if you look at the uh, the best place to start, Vincent, for that is check your here. I'm going to put it down here again. The Meta Grants Report. Okay. And I'm at the grants report here. Let me get that here in the, uh, okay. Now, if you're looking for bills, to pay bills to, uh, oh, why doesn't, where's the paste? Okay, there's the paste. Okay, look at this report. And if you're looking for help with your living expenses, Okay, look at item number one, number two, and number four. Okay, that takes you on a journey uh, about, you know, the most popular sources for paying, um, you know, living expenses using government programs, federal and state and local. The, set, the number two there is your state. Uh, it's called the mini grants report you know, for your state. So whatever state you're in, there's about 500 programs in there for all kinds of things, whether it's daycare or getting a refrigerator, you know. Thank you. Uh, I will look into the Google documents. Yeah, yes, that's in the Google Docs. Uh, or, okay, and also in that report, there down in like, I think about 26, item number 26, there's a report for seniors and people with disabilities. We've created a state-by-state -state report there for people with disabilities or people that are seniors. So the programs that are especially, you know, helpful for seniors or people with disabilities. Now that doesn't mean all the other programs aren't, aren't good either. They are, see, that's the other thing. Veterans say, I wanna know 
retinol, well, that's just a piece. I mean, you're, you're eligible for every other program. You have a disability. Yes, there's some programs for disability, but you're eligible for every other program. Yeah. So you don't want to dismiss you know, the other things. Okay, let's see what Joseph's saying. Uh, Joseph, my sister's neighbor is a veteran who is having trouble taking care of himself while his wife is in rehab from a stroke. There's a lot of help for that. Uh, other than find help, can you suggest places uh, for him? Yes. Um, here, let me get uh, a link here. Uh, where is it? Okay. It's item 17 in the Meta Grants Report. There's something in every state called the uh, County Veteran Service Office, okay? County Veteran Service Office. And these are researchers that just help veterans get their benefits. And they're the most, uh, they get more help for veterans than anybody else, okay? I'm going to cut and paste all that information for veterans here. Uh, yes, and, and also uh, daily care. Uh, investigate how you get somebody now uh, to come in and help personal with personal items uh, on your daily living for the vet veteran. Now, let's see where the heck did it go? Okay, that's just it. I went to local and was able to sign up uh, for 31. Oh, good. Oh, that's nice. The library has good Chrome. Yeah, that's true. Okay, we'll, we'll send you one for free <laughs> after the 30 days, okay? But you have to apply, okay? And find out other ones, uh, not only library, other people may have them too for free in your area. Uh, no, why doesn't? Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Chat, chat, chat. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay. Good. Okay. Uh, I went to the library. Yes, I have applied. Uh, but for now, that's what I have. Okay, oh, that's cool. At least you have that. Uh, and if you apply for one of us and show us what you got, because you have to go try to find, get one first uh, for free like that. And also, by the way, we have another grant besides the, remember, uh, two days left to apply for our $1,000 grant. And the application is on the front page of Let's Go Help Too, and also on the Facebook. Uh, there's a link there. You just press it and fill out. You put in two or three sentences, what you do with $1,000, and then you signed up. Uh, and that ends on midnight Eastern Standard Time on the 4th. Thank you for the Google Doc. Uh, I'm new here and uh, are there in the app. Uh, here, no, I'm new here. Are they in this app? Uh, well, yes, I don't know if you'll find them. <laughs> I forget. These things are, have become... Uh, I, I, I use, uh, I answer questions on the Facebook page a lot. This is becoming more important, tell you too. Let's go help too than Facebook. Because Facebook, people are able to sneak in there and they pretend they're me and they try to get money from people. Uh, and that's terrible. But Johnny, you, do you have this link uh, to the, uh, let me, I'll send you this link again. So you could download it right here. And that's the main report. And then Sabrina has, uh, individual reports they send in. So uh, check with Sabrina, just um, email her about, or not email, whatever, it is, send her a message <laughs> about that. Uh, you want a custom report for her, from her, because she does that. They're, they're awfully good too. Uh, okay, good day. These are federal grants for GED students. Are there, yes, if you want it, uh, yes, uh, and you don't, you probably don't have to pay to get a GED at all. Uh, if you go to your state, uh, well, actually, your county your county career one-stop office and uh, make an appointment. with a, a counselor, a free counselor. They're free, everything is free. Okay, and let me give you their 
Uh, okay, career one stop dot org. Okay. So go here, put in your zip code, find your local career one stop dot org and talk to them about uh, uh, you know, your GED stuff and how to get that paid for. Because also, see, you're, you're trying to get a better job. Well, that office helps you get a better job for anything. They have other training programs, even not, not GED. So maybe you could take a three, four, five month program that can start you on a job of forty, fifty thousand $50,000. I mean, this is the kind of stuff we need out there. And they're spending a lot of money on that uh, more than anything now. Uh, so you have to get out and you have to it's a pain in the butt to find it. And another way to do that, Johnny, uh, no group to discard learning. Oh, that's nice. Tammy. Yeah. Um, uh, thank you. I want to thank you for help. I just got my six month mortgage and paid for. Wow, Debbie. Debbie, please. Uh, are you on Facebook with us too? Can you go over to Facebook and uh, uh, you know start a new discussion saying how you got it so to help encourage other people? See, I mean, when I find out that's what's happening in, in Let's Go Help, it's the people. Uh, please send us info. Uh, yeah, because that, that encourages people more than I can ever do. Yeah. So if you are so kind to uh, go over and and tell tell us how you did it or anything, and just that's the fact that you did it, maybe what state you're in or or whatever. But boy, I mean, you see, to me, that's what gosh. I mean, think about all the people who have no idea they can get <clears throat> six months of mortgage paid and how you know, what fr just frustrates me, the bureaucrats don't spend all the money. And so what are they going to do? Or, you know, but also to teach people to be resourceful to solve their own problems, you know, and that's, so that's what you're doing, you know, and you're seeing how you can solve problems. Uh, let's see, Debbie, thank you. Yeah. Six months of mortgage paid. Wow. I mean, that had to be six, six or 12, what, $15,000 or more. Right. Uh, and, and, Wow, I mean, we're, who else is going to do that for you? Yeah, and, and, and that's why th this is just a an opportunity we all have, and we're all, it's all sitting there for us to take advantage of. But it, it's a little complicated, and that's why we're trying to do it. Uh, I want to thank you for the help. I just said, yeah. Oh, I mean, this is, that Debbie, that, that's what keeps me getting up in the morning to see that maybe this will help another person like that. I did not get approved for your Facebook group. Can you help me? Uh, yeah, send me, J. Yeah, uh, send, uh, contact um, Magic Mary. <laughs> she does. She's the one who knows how all that stuff works. Uh, send email to let's go help at gmail.com. Okay. Yeah, she'll get you set up uh, again. Uh, so you can't get in at all, huh? So we screwed up somewhere. <laughs> so she's the one who can unravel that uh, and, and figure where we want to miss uh, because that's that's important. Uh, and that's why I like this. We, it, it eliminates the, the two-step you know, thing that we have on that other one. Uh, 
and that's why people when they pay they just get the link to come right into let's go help too and don't have to get approval and all that kind of other stuff yes mary is great uh debbie is the best everyone on here and i'm very helpful and knowledgeable uh well thank you perla uh wow no i mean you guys really have changed my life um i you know, it was very successful at one time and selling books and uh, all that kind of stuff, but people didn't really use it. You know, you got a book and the mail and, you know, you didn't know what to do with it. And it was complicated. And, and that's why now, whoa, you know, we can help people like this. Look, everybody is learning. See, that's another thing what I want. I don't want to, I, I can't answer personally, because if you ask me here in the open forum, then other people are going to learn. And then we could keep the price low because we don't have to spend time one-on-one, -on -one, everybody, everybody, oh, I, I, I could do that too. And they, they learn from Jay's experience or something. I read your book, but yes, it is a lot of, <laughs> right, read, who wants to read anymore? That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and the guidance that we get here and here's the links and that, that all that was before the internet was really what it is. I started, I guess, in the eighties. I read your book, yeah, <laughs> and and this is so much better. Uh, but now, I mean, what the government is really, you know, I, I believe what's happening now is that in this uh, 2023 is going to be the year the government grants will be for you creating more income, not paying bills or getting out of financial trouble, but to create income, getting a better job, you know, getting the training you need to increase your income. And the grants will be for things like that, uh, uh, the education, you know, uh, training, skill set, um, you know, that's where it's all going, you know, apprenticeship programs. I mean, you can make 100 grand a year without a degree, you know, if you get a few skills, that's all you need. And they're really realizing that degrees are overpaid for. <laughs> Or whatever, uh, and we need people, man, because you know immigrants are coming here. We won't let any immigrants come in anymore, or that's really cut down. So, if to grow as a country, it's usually through people. The more people you have, then you create jobs for them and things like that. So now we have to upskill. So now it's the taking what you know and also work longer, man. See, I mean, look, I'm going to be 80 in the next couple of weeks, months, I guess, uh, in May. And God, I, I can't think of anything better I could do with my life than do this. So if you find something you really want to do in life and that uh, you get positive feedback doing it. Uh, hi, Matthew and everyone. It's so good to see you. <laughs> Thank you, Marlena. Uh, hi, Pamela. Hey, you know, if you find something you want to do, then you don't have to worry about retirement. Man, I, I, I don't want to retire. You know, uh, that's like you know to me growing up you retire and you go down to florida and play golf for the rest of your life i said god i want to do something i'm lousy at look at i found something i could do that uh, other people uh, uh can learn from or whatever and, and to contribute i mean i I, th I think our duty here as humans is to help other humans right uh, in some way and that gives us satisfaction that keeps the mind growing that keeps and then then you could forget about retirement because you want to do this as long as you're able and all the jobs now we're not working in retirement to me is is because we grew up you know in the factories there were the jobs and you know they took a lot of muscle power too so you couldn't do it for a long time but look at brain power well i'm getting a little concerned about that too <laughs> i keep feeling my brain's got like swiss cheese a little bit stuff keeps falling out <laughs> man i still have two of those large paperback but wow you're the one <laughs> yeah see you get those and people are gonna you know use them as door stoppers to keep the screen door open or whatever uh and it's a pain there were directories and that's why i have two new york times bestsellers i didn't write a lick i cut and paste it and their phone numbers so my seller list i try to find my english teacher who flunked me in in college english <laughs> to tell him, see i told you it didn't matter <laughs> yeah. and, and that was fun uh but it, it, it there's too much to do too many 
uh, problems to be solved. And I think uh, the more you get away from your own problems, <laughs> the more your problems go away. So concentrate on other people's problems and try to help them uh, because it, it makes, I think, it makes it a little easier to get through life because you don't worry about it. We're too smart, you know, and, and we'll, we'll learn ways to, uh, you know, dwell on our own problems, go down a rabbit hole with these things. Uh, to, uh, oh, 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 woe is me. Uh, that's why, to me, in my life, what I do, I, I just plan for failure. I plan everything I'm going to do is going to fail because I used to, you know, plan for success and then it didn't. Then I have to lick my wounds for six months. Oh, my God, I failed again. So if you just plan for failure, you get over it quickly and get on with something else. I mean, and I know I'm I'm wrong 90% of the time. I've written 100 books and only 10 have made money. So <laughs> you are a gift of inspiration. Let's go. Thank you, Anna. Uh, well, it, it's, we all struggle. And that's why what I appreciate uh, uh, the members. If I know something that could help you, like uh, the member, God, see, I forgot her name already. She's got six months of rent. Man. I could do that. So find what people need, get them for them. And then you can find out how to make money with it later. You have to make money. You have to survive yourself. That's what's so good about the gig economy. It's a way to make money easy and not uh, not have a boring job. You, know, you just make it when you need it. Don't do it, do do it. And do it for an hour and quit and all this stuff while you figure out how you can take one of your passions and, and, and work at it and make money at it uh, and, and do that for the rest of your life. And then that, to me, that's a, uh, a retirement plan. Instead of worrying about what the hell the government's going to do or somebody else do, uh, how are you going to create income? And that's what I mean. Most of these programs that the government has now is for you to learn how to create income for the rest of your life. I mean, I think that's a lot better than getting a free grant that should be just for either startup or just uh, casually, you know, and things like that, but creating your own income, you know, what can you do that could be a value to other people that uh, you could charge and make money from and live and, and have control of your life and give your best. See, that's what I also think that if you're doing something you want to do, you give it the most, right? If people are just doing it for money, well, eh, you know, you have other things that, are more important. Uh, and that's why we, we want the best of everybody to give to each other. I mean, you, you want somebody to love you just a little bit or on, you know, eight hours a day or something for five days a week? No, you want somebody to love the hell out of you for everybody, for all the time, right? So that's what I, I, I think our skills uh, should be that way, that we want to give it to somebody all the time, the best we can, you know? Uh, I mean, you don't wake up and do that the next day. You have to work towards that. And you have to take care of yourself first. And you have to learn how to make income first. I'm in the same boat. My brain is in the Swiss cheese. Boy, Jay, boy. I, I just, yeah. uh, who's that lady that I lived with for 40? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what's her name. <laughs> Can you talk about imposter syndrome? I feel a lot of people go through... The, oh, yes, I still feel. I mean, I remember <laughs> even when I was, uh, you know, I, I felt like a fraud. I'd go on these national TV shows and, uh, and you know, became a New York Times bestseller. I flunked English in college. You know, I don't know shit. <laughs> and I just got lucky and hustled, you know. Uh, so I feel like an imposter. You, you, you're right. And it's so hard. And I think the only way to get rid of that is, is by little successes, you know, and that's why you do as hard as you can and, and talk more from the heart. You have to use your brain to try to think of what people need. In other words, if you want to give to society, you have to figure out what society needs and what they're helpful for. Now, how could you use your skills uh, to help them uh, the other people in society and then they'll figure out, okay, how will they pay for that? And I go through that, you know, for 50 years or more now. Uh, and, uh, and you feel that, and particularly when you get a little success, then you feel, Ooh, I mean, that's a schmuck like me who flunked out of school. So I was kicked out of school. So <laughs> I have an SAT of two above plant life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I have two New York Times sellers of a 
a syndicated column for the New York Times and all these, you know, fancy places. And geez, but now this is the most satisfying work I've ever done in all these years. Uh, and, and that is because of you, you, you to help real people with real problems. And, and there may be something in society I could show you to help you with that problem. Uh, we have, that's why I used to envy doctors, boy, you know, uh, <clears throat> they help people every day. They come in and they're able to heal the problem they have in life. What's better? How do, how do we better love each other than to help somebody with a problem, no matter what it is. And it's also all you have to have to do is listen sometimes. But the poor doctors have, can't spend more than three minutes with you when they don't have their hand on the doorknob getting out there. They don't get to know you. They don't get to, this terrible. <laughs> and they have the most healing power in the universe and they're not allowed to treat a human, you know? And that's what it's the humanness of this. And this is what you're giving me. You're selling books and being able to figure out how to get on Oprah and to act like a crazy man so I could sell a lot of books and you get the books and do nothing. I mean, that's sort of nice. Oh, I saw you on Oprah, I'm a big deal. Who did I help? How, how did I help you? And, and here I see every day somebody says, look at, um, you know, members say, yes, I just got s six months of back rent, uh, mortgage paid because of something I showed her. Now that's not me, that's the government that did that. But somehow I, I, I helped that happen. It, 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 it is a remarkable uh, feeling to have. Uh, her name is Debbie. She, uh, the one was, oh, thanks, Ann. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you go, uh, I help uh, out my 60-year-old parents. Oh, I think I remember this, right? Uh, due to hurricane back in September, they received some money from Prima, but little from their insurance company. Where else can I go? Well, it, it, for housing, uh, Deanna, uh, make sure if, if their, their housing is still a problem, you want to go to item numbers. Let's see if this, it's still here. Oh, no, that's America One Stop. We don't want that. Let me give you a link to the career one, not the, the meta grants report, okay? And look at, okay. Da, 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 da. Meta grants report, look at number, Oh, darn it. Okay, look at number 13 in the Meta Grants Report, uh, Deanna, and start calling. You call those agencies or whatever. Uh, also call um, uh, Elder Care. Other care hotline. Call this number here and find out the local area office on aging and see what you could do for uh, your parents with this. I know I call this number my, my parents when they were retired in Florida and call my mother on the phone and she was bitching about her father and talking about divorce. So I called this number and found a, they got free legal help they want to get divorced. So I gave my mother, <laughs> they want to divorce my father. Here, here's how I get free legal help. <laughs> she yelled the hell out of me. <laughs> you know, you tell a guy to do something, they're trying to fix a problem. And she just wanted to complain. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's why I learned about he says, she says. How can I share your program with other people? Ask them what they need and show them some answers. You, Jay, uh, if you have a friend that needs something, just, just put in, you know, particularly on, I, I, I still answer most of the, every question that starts. If you start a new discussion on, on, on Facebook, I will, I use the answer and that's the pride of my day, trying to answer as many questions as possible. Uh, and, and, oh, do you get a new computer from us? Henrietta? Uh, can you take a picture, Henrietta, and put it up on the service? You know, uh, you with the computer or without the computer or <laughs> with a mask, <laughs> anything. To just show people, people don't believe that th this can happen, you know, and that can happen to them. It won't happen. And it, it won't happen unless you try. So we have to get more people to try. 
area. Please try to do that. Uh, but I understand if, if it's not comfortable for you. I don't want you ever to do anything that's not comfortable uh, for you. I want you to want to do it. If you don't want to do it, I don't want to embarrass you or make you feel uncomfortable. You are more important than anything else to you. So don't let me influence you to make you uncomfortable. Please don't. Uh, how do I share your program? Okay, Jay, back. Yeah. yeah, so if they need help with their student loans, okay, you you go in to Let's Go Help, or I mean, on Facebook or here, and talk about student loans and g- give us the information on the state they're in, and we get the information, then you cut and paste it from us and email it to them. <laughs> yeah. uh, and that's it. We're only as good as how many people we help. That's what I feel. I mean, that's a biased opinion, and I'm sure I didn't feel like that 30, 40 years ago. So don't trust me. (laughs) We all have our own biases. But boy, it feels so good to help people. Uh, And and the problem is finding some deserving bastard to help to is that. (laughs) <laughs> but they are, and that's what I, you know, in this Let's Go Help, I can't believe how nice everybody is. And I think it's mostly because I'm trying to be nicer myself or something like that, that uh, you have to show by example, I think. You can't yell at people. I saw that with the kids. You yell at them, go study. You know, no, they're not going to study go study if they don't want to study (laughs) and that's just the way life is uh and that's it so by the way uh has everybody raise your hand if you already applied to the grant for april 4th because it's over tomorrow night at midnight and and don't forget we have a grant for uh car payments yes thank you johnny now, if you lose or you don't win, I guess you don't lose. Uh, I have a flag. Good. Oh, thank you, Mel. Uh, that uh, you apply again next month. Uh, yes, I do. Thanks, Jay. And uh, Anna. Oh, great. Oh, you people are wonderful. Debbie, thank you. Hands up. High five. High five. <laughs> yeah. there. James. Oh, boy. Oh, you people are wonderful. I'm going to try to do this more. <laughs> <laughs> I still have to submit. Thanks for reminding me. Oh, and don't forget, on the 20th, we have the uh, uh, the uh, car repair. Once you win, can you apply again? No, you can apply the other programs too. So, okay. Uh, and it's really, it's the government that's the big. Have you tell me uh, that I love your glasses? Oh, family, yes. Let me get the, I mean, these things are so cheap. Uh, blue. Uh, latest glasses, Vu Glam, V O O. I'm going to get you the link to the glasses, people. They're in China, <laughs> they're so cheap. Uh, Let's see how I get back to you. Uh, I did. Okay, now also, Nikki, so it's rent. Have you? Okay, that's the glasses. Okay, let me get you some information. Now, here's some video explanations or training on how to find the federal and local help with grants, okay? And and I think what most people are still not comfortable with is calling, okay? And that's important. So uh, here's here's the Okay, so there's, uh, very quick before I leave, I want to tell you that I applied for rent assistance and didn't receive. Ooh, Marlena, wow. Can you please tell us that? Uh, can you write a, a post either, Facebook is better because we have a place to keep them easier on Facebook in New Jersey. Please, Melina, if you can, so we could share it with people that way. And, and that would be so kind uh, of you. Uh, if you find it, 
if see look at look at what people yes definitely oh thank you Wally, because that is uh, I, a crazy guy like me saying something that works <laughs> it's, it leaves a lot of doubts in people's mind when I come and dress like Bozo the Clown you know <laughs> so, so having a real person uh, do that uh, that that is uh, that is so much more powerful than anything uh, I could ever do. And I, I just, I will never think less of you. If you don't want to do it, please don't do it. Uh, I don't want to impose and make you feel uncomfortable with anything. Uh, and, and that's very important to me. Uh, I hate people who bully me. No, we should try to love each other more and help people do what they want to do, not what you want them to do. <laughs> That's what I sort of, uh, when I got into my 50s, more or less, maybe in late 40s, uh, oh, love is, you know, I grew up in a family, we all try to control each other, you know, tell them what to do in life. And I think if you love somebody, you help somebody do what they want to do not what you want them to do. You know, we're all struggling in life and we don't know what to do with our own goddamn life. How, how, what gives us the audacity to think that we can tell other people how to live their life? <laughs> we can't figure out what to do with our own life. <laughs> I keep pushing myself and with positive well here as well because what you do is so great. I also want to help out. Oh, Marlene, please help me help others. I mean, uh, in any way, uh, uh, oh, uh, that's that's so wonderful. I mean, boy, it is just the warmest feeling in the world, and you know that. But it's hard. We live in a society that doesn't uh, honor that as much. Yeah. You know? uh, thank you, Malia. I mean, that's right. That's what we want. We want the warmth of not feeling alone. So if somebody yells at us for not doing something, we feel stupid we feel we're alone and, and we're struggling and we're not smart and this is why we have that imposter syndrome <laughs> because we can't be ourselves and you know when i started failing at the beginning and everything uh, since then i just been digging deeper and deeper inside it, it it's taking off those peelings and, and finding what's really underneath is there anywhere you can get help now to write a business plan. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, and that's right. So this is why, see, a business plan where you're needed or not is good to talk through. And I'll show you these places that you go, they help you think through to write that business plan and start your business. So that's why you call these in this, go to this uh, contact, make appointments, The free marriage can that are described to you, yes, the yes. Uh, And you know the report below okay so i'm going to send you a report here and you start calling those people described in the beginning of the report there and they write for writers yes uh the best thing i think for writers is uh is get government contracts. I mean, I mean, more than any advance you'll get. But if you're an artist, then that's different. But to live off your writing. Uh, okay, now where are you again? Here's a report on that. Joy. Oh, J, not Joy. That's what I probably you know. What do I ask? Do they have grants for medical transportation? Yes, for the alien. Yes, they do, Anna. The way to do that is go to 
go to needymeds.org. Okay. I'm going to. Okay, needymeds.org, uh, and then look at uh, Okay. Healthcare savings, that's what I keep going. And see the item on transportation, okay? So oh, it's all right there. Needy meds. I see the needy meds. Okay, healthcare transportation. Uh, and I want to ask you a grant for medical transportation. Yeah, okay. And also locally. So if you go to find help. I help and search under transportation that way. Grant for recording artists. Well, as a business, yes. And, and it's the same for starting any kind of business, you know. Uh, and, and then also artists, then you have two places because there's a lot of grants for artists in the states and things like that. But the first place would do is, um, let me get the link for starting expanding a business. Uh, can you post it on, on Facebook, Marlena? Marlena. Yeah, it's sunshine here today too. Oh, I'm running late. I'm sorry. Okay, 59 minutes. Okay. Okay, guys, I'll be back soon. Don't forget to apply to our grant uh, on Facebook. Yes, thank you, man. Uh, and start a new discussion there because uh, it's easier for me to save it. Um, and if you need uh, auto repair and if you need a, a free uh, laptop, every month we'll have those grants. That's a revolving grant. It's different money. <laughs> and that's because of you who, who, who support us. And we want to give the money back to you who also support other people. So it's your money that's going to help people who really need it. Okay. Oh, awfully nice of you, Daniel. Uh, I, all you guys warm my heart so much. I... Thank you so much for everything you've given me.